Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this really pretty New Year's Eve makeup look. Perfect for New Year's Eve, perfect for a holiday party, or even just a date night. I love this look so much. I did use the new ColourPop Menage a Moi palette. It's so pretty, and this is what the colors look like. I'm obsessed. I definitely will do more looks with this palette because this palette is very versatile, but I love that they have pressed glitters in here. You have your matte colors and your shimmers. I'm just overall really obsessed with this palette, and this makeup look is literally everything. I did do like a cut crease with a little bit of glitter on top and with really pretty fluttery lashes. So I am super obsessed with this look, and most of the products I use in today's video are super affordable, which is really nice. But before we jump right into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram Ash Luna So you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes And if you guys are interested on how to get this really pretty New Year's Eve glam makeup, then just continue watching The very first thing I like to do is apply my favorite lip balm, which is from elf and it's the ride or die lip balm And this is in the shade grapefruit and it literally smells like grapefruit I actually don't like grapefruit. I think it doesn't taste good to me, but I do like the smell of it. So this is really nice on the lips. I would use my Mighty Mint one, but I can't find it. I did use that in my last video, but I don't know where it's at. <laughs> that is the very first thing I like to do is apply some lip balm before I do any makeup, just to keep my lips hydrated before I apply lipstick at the very end. So the very first thing we're gonna do is start with my face. I always like to start with my face. It's just preference. I like to start with my face first, um, but if you guys like to start with your eyes first, then go ahead. I already did my morning skincare routine, so if you guys are interested, I will link it down below. But we're gonna start with my face. So I'm gonna start with primer, and the very first primer I'm gonna use is this Wet n Wild primer focus serum I love this stuff it definitely keeps my face nice and dewy and it also makes my makeup last longer so I'm gonna apply a little bit of this all over my face We are going to be playing around with the new ColourPop palette which is called Menage a Moi hopefully I'm saying that right I think it's French I'm pretty sure it's like a Paris French collection I think that's how you say it Menage a Moi it's a really pretty kind of purplish palette, as you guys can see. Super pretty. I thought this would be perfect for a New Year's Eve glam. I love like they have the pressed glitters in here, the purples. I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette. So we are going to be playing around with this palette and then I am going to be using one of their blushes from the same palette. And this one is called Love Story. It's a really pretty shimmery kind of muted pink. I have my Wet n Wild primer on. I do like to put some e.l.f. putty primer on my T-zone area just to help minimize my pores. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. Now that we have our primer on, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. The foundation I'm using today is my favorite foundation at the moment, which is from ColourPop, and it's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's definitely gonna be one of the best of best beauty foundations that I've used in 2020. So we're just gonna apply two pumps of this, and this is in the shade 100W. And now we're just going to apply this all over the face. I am using a beauty sponge that I got from Shop Miss A. It was only a dollar, so I really recommend their sponges. They're really affordable. And this is a good dupe for the ColourPop one. I just like this one better because it's cheaper. This foundation does have a more of a medium coverage foundation, so if you guys want something a little bit more full coverage, definitely go use that, but I prefer medium coverage these days, and I just love the way this foundation feels on my skin. It feels really nice. So next, we're gonna be moving on to concealer, my favorite concealer, my ride or die, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Beige. So we're just gonna put some of this underneath.
To set my concealer, I'm going to be going in with the number 7 translucent powder. I did get this from Target and it's a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So I do like to put this underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I do like to do this step right away just to avoid cakiness underneath the eye as well with creasing. So I do like to do that right away. I just stabbed my eye with a brush. <laughs> for cream bronzer, I'm going in with my favorite cream bronzer which is from Fenty and this is in the shade Honey Glaze. I'm actually almost out. That just goes to show you that I am obsessed with this product. I've recommended it to all my friends and my clients. It's a really good, it's a really good cream bronzer. It blends really nice, but also does hold up pretty well. I closed the blinds a little bit because I feel like it was a little too bright in here. Hopefully that helps. And you guys can see a little bit what I'm doing, but. Yeah, putting some cream bronzer on using my favorite Fenty Beauty. Now to set my cream bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty bronzer, and this is called Coco Naughty. This is what it looks like. It's a really dark color, but since I am self-tan, I do like to go in with a darker bronzer. So I'm just going to apply some of this right on top of the cream bronzer. So next after my bronzer I do like to apply some cream blush so since this palette is more like purpley I am gonna go more for like the berry vibes for my cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from elf and it's called luminous berry and it's their new little cream blush sticks they have I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose we like blushing the nose now. I'm just taking my brush and blending that out. I will say these e.l.f. little blush cream sticks, they do take a while to blend out. So definitely take your time and don't rush it. Because if you're not patient blending, it's going to look a little splotchy and not cute. So, perfect. Now that we applied our cream blush, I do like to set my entire face with the translucent powder. So I'm just going to go right around here, my chin, my T-zone area, and then on my forehead. Next, I will be doing my brows really quickly using the Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. You guys can do your brows however you guys want it. Everyone does their brows differently. So I am just going to quickly do my brows and I'll be right back. Now that I have my brows on, we're going to be moving on to eyeshadow. And again, this is the palette we're going to be using today. It's the Menage a Moi palette from ColourPop. Hopefully I'm saving that right. And I did move you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit what I'm doing. So the first color we're going to be going in with is this one right here, which is called Total Flirt. Don't mind my broken nail. It broke yesterday. Or it broke two days ago at my niece's birthday. And yeah, <laughs> super sad. <laughs> So don't mind my broken nail, but we're going to be going in with the first color right here, which is called Total Flirt. And it's a pretty like muted mauve color, so we're going to be applying this in the crease. I promise I'm not naked. <laughs> I gotta get a new chair. I was like editing my video and all you hear is like the squeak in the background. So sorry for the little squeaky noise. My chair has squeaky issues now. It's really annoying so sorry if you guys hear that. Next I am going to be going in with this color right here which is called a novel and it's a really pretty darker mauvey color so we're gonna be applying this right in the crease.
This palette is so pretty. I can already see myself doing so many different looks with this palette, but I think today I want to do a cut crease. So next I'm going to be applying this color right here, which is called Miss You, and it's a really pretty shimmery Merlot color. And I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and just pack it on the outer corner. Now going in with a smaller tapered blending brush, I'm going to go in with the same color Miss You and I'm just going to keep packing that on the outer corner. The next color I'm going to be going in with is this one right here which is called No Drama and it's a really pretty deep matte Merlot. So I'm going to be taking the same tapered blending brush. I'm just going to focus this on the outer corner just to give it some more depth. I really do like what's going on in the outer corner now, so now I'm going to be doing the cut crease. So I'm going to be taking the concealer I used for my face, and we're going to be using this for our cut crease. Ah! I'm going to be taking a small flat concealer brush and applying that concealer, and we're going to be cutting the crease. After the concealer, really quickly, I'm going to be applying this color right here, which is called Thrillist. And we're just going to be applying that right over the concealer we just applied. Now you guys can see this one is more of the cut crease. We still have to blend the edges out a little bit, but I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Now that we have our cut crease color on, I'm going to be going in with the same color Miss You and applying a little bit on the outer edge. Now going in with that same dark matte Merlot color, which is called No Drama, we're going to be applying a little bit of this right on the outer corner just to give it a little bit more depth. Now taking that same crease brush, we're going to be just lightly blending the outer corner here just very lightly, just so we don't have any harsh lines. Just like that, everything is looking so good. I love this cut crease. So we're pretty much done with the eyeshadow on the top. I do want to apply a little bit of glitter. So I think I'm gonna apply this glitter right here, which is called Confess. It's a really pretty, like, light purple glitter. What it looks like. Um, can't wait to put it on my eyeball. <laughs> With my finger, I'm just going to be lightly tapping it on the lid color here. I did do it very, very lightly because I don't want an overpowering, like, glitter lid, so... Before I move on to the lower lash eyeshadow, I am going to be prepping my lashes really quickly. And these are the lashes I'm going to be using today. I did get these from Amazon. If you've never purchased lashes from Amazon, what are you doing? <laughs> They're the best and the most affordable lashes you can get. And I will link this one specifically down below in case you guys are interested. But it's a really pretty, like, wispy, 
um, dramatic eyelash. As you guys can see, it goes shorter in the inner corner and then longer on the outer corner. So I really do like this style specifically because I'm not going to do a wing liner today because I did do one in my last video. So I do want to focus more on the lash and on the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be prepping these really quickly. I'm going to cut them and glue them. While the lashes are drying, I'm going to be moving on to the lower lash line. So the first color I'm going to go in with is this color right here, which is called Obsession. I'm going to be applying this color on my lower lash line. Going in with a clean blending brush, I'm going to go in with that color Novel and I'm just going to be using that as a blending transition color for the lower lash line. So we're just going to buff that in there. Usually I don't like to wear eyeliner on my waterline anymore, but I think for today's video I want to play around with this silver color and it's called a like a charm I did get this from the Black Friday sale and I believe they still have it in stock So in case you guys are interested, so I'm gonna go in with this silver gel liner and this one is called Kicker it's called kicker. So we're just gonna be applying this on the waterline So I might have to do this off-camera <laughs> I'm going to be taking this color right here, which is called No Drama, and I'm just going to be popping this right underneath my lower lash line where that liner is at, just to help give it a little bit more depth. Really quickly, I'm going to be applying some mascara just to prep for the falsies. Falsies are already dry, so I'm going to pop these on really quickly. Oh my lord. This makeup look though. And these lashes, they look so good. Now these lashes look really good for this look. So again, I will link them down below. They're super affordable and you get a bunch of them. So totally approve. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going in with that same color we used for the lid, which is called the Thrillist. We're just going to be popping that. I'm actually going to put some setting spray just to amplify it a little bit. This looking cute up in here. Ready for 2021? Or not? <laughs> now that the eyes are completed, we're going to be moving on to blush. And we're going to go in with the color Love Story, which is from the same um, Menage a Moi <laughs> collection from ColourPop. So I'm going to be applying a little bit of this on my cheeks. Now taking this little elf duo here which is called pomegranate and it does come with a blush and a highlighter I am going to be taking the blush because this blush is a little bit deeper so I'm just gonna pop a little bit on top of that blush as well now I'm gonna be taking the highlighter in the palette which is a really pretty pinky toned highlighter so I thought it would be perfect for this look so we're just gonna pop some of that right on my cheeks and I feel like this highlighter is more of a glow within highlighter, which is totally fine. Now the very last step I like to do is apply some setting spray and this is the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. I love this stuff. I do love the Catrice one more, but I do like to use this one for work. So, oh, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> but I do like to wear this one for work, so I'm going to apply some of this all over my face. So it actually wasn't the last step. The last step is lips. 
So I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and this is in the shade Whatever Walnut. I'm going to be applying this, and then a little bit of the KKW Cream Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Kiki. And then I'm going to be topping it with gloss, and this is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Gloss and Tropical Fruit Punch. After the lips are done, we are completed with the makeup look. It looks so freaking good. I'm obsessed. I think I might wear this for New Year's even though I have no plans. This makeup look looks on point. I'm gonna give you guys like a close-up shot. It is so pretty. I'm really obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I mean, the colors in here are so pretty and I'm just like really obsessed with the makeup look. Like. No lie. So we are completed with the New Year's Eve glam makeup look. I'm so obsessed with this look, guys. Like, for real. This palette is everything. I love the shadows in here. They're so pretty. So, like, flirty but sexy. I do love how they have pressed glitters in here. You have your matte colors, your shimmer colors. Overall, this is a really good palette. I feel like ColourPop always does so well with their collections, their eyeshadow palettes. The colors blend so nice, so I'm really obsessed with this palette, and I can't wait to play with it again. I'm just really obsessed with this cut crease. Overall, I really do love this entire makeup look. It's perfect for New Year's Eve. It's very fun, flirty, but sexy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ashluna, and don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.